Today we will talk about installing a new free application local by Flywheel for building WordPress websites locally on your Windows PC computer. I will guide you through all the steps and problems you may encounter during installation. Local by Flywheel was originally for Mac and was over 140 euros. A WordPress hosting company Flywheel bought it and rebranded it local by Flywheel. The good news is that it is now free. Another good news is that there is now a PC or Windows version since last year. With this program, you stop debugging your local environment as it is common for other similar local web hosting programs. If we go further down, we see the attributes. Speed and simplicity, a demo URL, you can share with your clients, simple root SSH access, easy one-click WordPress installation, SSL support for e-commerce, and a flexible environment option allowing you to switch between Nginx or Apache or different PHP versions. To download, go to localgetflywheel.com. I'll have a link for you in the bottom at the description. You can download from here, you click on it to download and then you go and choose the Windows version and here we have the Windows version. We click on it to select it and then you go enter your first name and then your last name. You enter your email address and then you indicate the number of websites and then go get now. If it does not download immediately, you can go to click here and then save the file. Once the download is complete, it's going to be found in the browser. For Firefox, it's up here, you click on it, and then you can go and open the file, and then the installation is going to begin. The installation is going to take a while, so I've hastened up things for you. After completion, you will now have a flywheel icon on your desktop, and if you click on it, and then you will have this window coming up and prompting you to turn on error reporting. I'll go and say OK and turn it on by clicking. And this Windows configuration will begin where the virtual box, host machine and local image will be configured. And we'll notice that it is set down here that you may need to approve changes several times. So we go, let's go and the configuration is going to go on. The first part is finished, which is a virtual box. Next is the host machine. And there we see an error message. In my case, talking about a VT minus X slash AMD minus V technology that is not enabled. Click OK and go and configure the virtualization technology. I have a link for you in the description on how to do that. Once you do that, you go back and restart and click let's go and the host machine will now be configured and it's going to take a while. I'll hasten up things for you by forwarding the video. So the host machine is done and now the local machine is configured. Now we have a brand new local by Flywheel and we have this reminder telling us it looks like we haven't created any sites yet. So to create a site, go to create a new site and then you have this window coming up where you can enter the site name and it will be important if you're having other things like exam on your computer not to use the same name. Go to continue and on this next page you have the possibility to choose a custom installation. I will go down to PHP version 5.6 since many plugins will work with that and cannot work with the higher ones. For web server, I'm going to choose Apache and I'll leave the MySQL at 5.5. And down here, we see Connect for Flywheel is not supported. I go OK. And here you have the possibility to give your WordPress username and then you put in the password. And down here, you ask if this is a multi-site. I choose no. And then you can change the WordPress email for the demonstration purposes. I'm going to leave the WordPress email at that, but I'm going to change the username as admin and my name. And you are going to put something else except you are called the same like me. And then go to add site. 
you now have this window where you can save this template as a default. I'll choose not now and then the environment will be downloaded onto your computer. Once this is done, you're going to have a site container being created, then Apache being created or uploaded, then PHP and MySQL, then the scripts, WP, CLI and WordPress will be installed. Up here you have the site set up with local environment, PHP version, web server, MySQL version, site name, site domain, site path, multi-site and down here you have the number of sites running. You can stop it here and here you have a live link you can enable to share with your collaborators or clients and you can connect to Flyway down there. In the database section we have the host, the database name, username, password, remote host, remote port and then under SSL we have more information and you can choose to make it to be trusted and then under utilities you have more information. We go back to site setup and then go to admin and we have the WordPress login interface as we know it. We can now give our username and then the password and then go to enter and here we have the normal WordPress backend as we know it. I go here, don't save my password. This has been a tutorial on how to install Local by Flywheel on your PC Windows computer. Local by Flywheel is an awesome tool you can use for local development of WordPress websites. With this software, you stop debugging your environment a lot like you do with the other competitors. If you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing below and leave your comments. I value them. Otherwise, see you in the next video.